Mark, some tragic news uh, from uh, Toronto where a 21-year-old Indian student was killed after he sustained multiple gunshot wounds from a shooting at the entrance of a subway station in Canada's uh, Toronto while he was on his way to work. The victim, identified as Karthik Vasudev, was shot on Thursday. He received medical attention uh, from an off-duty paramedic, was taken to a hospital, but he eventually died uh, during the treatment, is what the police said in a statement. The homicide squad has taken over the investigation and Foreign Minister as Jay Shankar tweeted his condolences to the family as did the Indian consulate in Canada who said they are in touch with Vasudev's family and providing all possible assistance. So very, very tragic occurrence there and surprising in, uh, in the sense that one doesn't often hear of uh, too much shooting incidents happening in Canada and Toronto. But a 21-year-old Indian student uh, killed after he sustained multiple gunshot wounds uh, from a shooting that took place at the entrance of a subway station in Toronto. Uh, Karthik Vasudev was on his way to work at the time and uh, he did receive some medical help but died later. Uh, when he was in hospital and uh, the investigation into the shooting is currently taking place. As we said, uh, Foreign Minister Dr. S. Jay Shankar uh, tweeted his condolences uh, to the family and uh, the Indian consulate in Canada has also said that they are in touch uh, with Vasudev's uh, family. They're providing all assistance. We're joined on the phone line by Jitesh Vasudev, uh, his, his Karthik's father. Uh, so sorry for your loss, sir. I, you know, I can't imagine uh, what you're going through and it's very, very tragic. Uh, uh, what do we know about this shooting? Uh, I don't know, ma'am, about the shooting. I just got that confirmation information from the, from the police yesterday that my son has been shot near the, the subway station. Actually, he was going to his workplace at around 5:30, so so he was just going to his work, and he was being shot by a black man. We don't know much of the details since we have not got any details from anyone from Toronto police or anybody or any authority. But we are just struggling that my son. I have lost my son, but I just need justice. I want the culprit to. Be, I want to know what happened to my son and who shoot it, but was the motive behind that. He was just a sincere, but sincere student who just went there two months back in Toronto for his studies. And this happened, we have just, we have just lost him and I want justice that he should be, because I am not getting any of the report or any of the help from the right. from Toronto police that what happened, how it happened. I'm just trying to contact them. They are not replying to me. I just want to just want to right. so i can i can imagine how difficult this is and and so shocking uh, for the family and, and and you said he just went two months ago uh, we believe the consulate is in touch with you and hopefully they will be able to provide you more information soon yeah i i got a call from the consulate yesterday and they told me that we are in the process for sending the body to india but they told me that it will take around seven to eight days to for the whole com process to be completed and uh, i i i'm i'm very shocked that uh, means they are saying okay it is the, that is taking time but i have not got any of the call or any of the support from from government of india here in india they means nobody nobody has contacted me as, as of now for that and uh, my my couple of things i just wanted to have from the government that one the body of of my son can be can be brought back to India as soon as possible. Secondly, I want that the justice will happen and what what happened, I want to know what happened with my son over there, who was the culprit and why he has been been surrounded now. And he should he should be punished and he should be caught now. So that is what I am expecting from the government to have to at least do something for us because we have lost my son he will not come back but at least he can get the justice for no, absolutely, sir. And uh, hopefully that message will go you know, across about uh, getting justice, all the information that you want, all the help that you need and uh, to uh, you know, get his uh, mortal remains back to India. And, uh, you know, again, it's, it's just so shocking and tragic, this incident, because Canada is usually considered a very safe place. And, you know, so many Indian students head there. 
that is why that is why he went there actually I, as i told you that it was his dream to went there so he was expecting that canada is a very safe city nothing will happen he will go whenever i talk to him some sometime he will come from the from the work at around 1 am he was saying that it is very safe no nothing will happen you don't worry about that we were we were very cautious about that that bhai you are coming so late from the work so he was telling no papa no nothing will happen here it's very safe city we, we don't know that if this is the safe city then why what why this happened for it was 4:30 pm 4:30 in the evening it's a day time he got shot at the metro station and that that too in a downtown area what can we expect and is anything that i can't believe that this is a safe city if this happens to me it can happen to anybody else to all the students over there why the person will send the student to canada to uh, so far if if that is not safe right sir absolutely uh, again so sorry for your loss uh, mr vasudev and uh, hopefully all help will come to you and there will be justice done uh, really uh, sorry uh, you know uh, uh, about all this and uh, thank you so much for speaking to us hopefully that message will go across uh, you said you want more information and we said and as we do know that the consulate is in touch with you and they are uh, trying to help uh, uh, your family as much as they can hopefully more information will be provided to you soon and help in getting uh, kartik's a uh, body back to india for the final rites